In 2006, Boeing proposed a crazy modification plan for the F-15E Strike Eagle to the U.S. military, which is to install a large rocket on the back of the F-15E fighter jet. However, the purpose is not to increase the speed or range of the fighter jet, but to use the fighter jet to send the rocket into high altitude and launch it to send a payload to suborbital or space orbit. This modified aircraft is named the F-15 GSE Global Strike Eagle. As an all-weather, highly maneuverable fighter jet, the F-15 series is still the mainstay of many air forces. After studying the F-15E, it was determined that it has enough payload capacity. However, a large rocket cannot be installed under the belly or wings of the aircraft. Instead, a back-mounted structure is used. In fact, this type of back-mounted design has been around in the aviation industry for many years. For example, the Antonov An-225 Maria transport aircraft carried the Buran Space Shuttle on its back. In Boeing's proposal, a 45-foot-long three-stage rocket, about 13.7 meters, will be installed on the fighter jet's back, weighing 30,000 pounds, about 13,600 kilograms, with a payload of 1,200 pounds, about 544 kilograms. The rocket's nozzle has a conical fairing to optimize the aerodynamic shape during back-mounted flight. Testing showed that the fighter jet carrying the back-mounted rocket did not lose much lift. This rocket is a modified version of an existing rocket. Its first stage power comes from the second stage State Route 19 solid fuel rocket engine of the Minuteman II intercontinental ballistic missile, which can generate 60,300 pounds of thrust and run for 287.5 seconds. The second stage power of the rocket comes from the third stage Orion 50XL rocket engine of the Minuteman missile, which can generate 34,500 pounds of thrust and run for 289 seconds. The third stage power comes from the smaller Orion 38, which can generate 10,600 pounds of thrust and run for 289.6 seconds. Through the assistance of the fighter jet and the three-stage rocket, the payload will eventually be delivered to the intended orbit. It is quite challenging for the F-15E fighter jet to carry the back-mounted rocket alone. Therefore, booster rockets need to be installed on the aircraft to take off from conventional Air Force runways. Boeing also proposed a technology called MIPCC, which involves injecting a coolant in front of the engine compressor to evaporatively cool during compression, thereby slightly lowering the temperature. It is said that this technology can slightly increase the engine's speed and power. According to the plan, the fighter jet carrying the back-mounted rocket will climb to an altitude of 47,800 feet, about 14,569 meters, and separate the rocket at a speed of 1.35 Mach. The rocket will ignite its first stage engine four seconds after separation. During this critical four-second period, the fighter jet needs to enter a dive and quickly leave to avoid being affected by the rocket engine. According to Boeing's plan, the F-15 GSE Global Strike Eagle will be a very cost-effective way to launch satellites, making it suitable for deploying small satellites. However, this proposal did not receive much attention from the military. We can see that the United States has focused on Musk's rocket technology in recent years, perhaps for other considerations.